just love barking out those orders, don't you, Margulis? Show a little love to your dogs, or else they might bite you one day. The prototype belongs to me. I've grown bored with these Kirschwassers. I think I'm more likely to succeed than your dogs. Ah, yes. Feed me your hostility. Pierce me with your hatred. <laughs> I won't get in your way. We're working toward the same goal, right? Ah, Momo. My adorable little Pesh. <laughs> the song... The song is I... <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me, define me. <laughs> I am the infinite telemaraz! I am not an anti-existence! I am the perfect chain! <laughs> Such tears. What beauty they hold. These tears of sorrow. Surely they are the most precious substance in the world. But, are you worthy to shed such tears? The act of mourning the dead belongs to the realm of humans. Ah, my beautiful little Kirschwasser. But still, can you really call this a corpse? <laughs> Frailty, thy name is woman. No, that's not right. You little reality weren't even born from a woman's womb. The human race, fearful in its weakness, built this world in a futile attempt to elude the abyss they call mortality. Culture, civilization, all delusions created by a powerless race and of little use, like a barren woman. But amidst all this, you continue to exist as an unfettered soul, free from the shackles of flesh and blood, a completely pure consciousness, an eternal spiral, undefiled by impurities, a fusion of fire, breath, and spirit. What can we call you but angels, new, unadulterated psyches? But what you lack is reality, and that is what I shall provide you with! There's no need to tremble like that. Else, you'll make me feel like a Pache myself. Was that a glimpse of a man that I caught in your heart? Who is it? This red-haired... Red-haired... Rubido. Oh, it's Rubido. Oh, that's just perfect. <laughs> Do you know what he said while he coughed up his lifeblood? Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. Wheat. There's enough of it. We can afford to waste as much as we want. Like my head, you see? <laughs> what do you think, my beloved Pesh? <laughs> Please spare me from any 
trite lines like, You're still alive? Life and death are merely empty words lacking any power over me. By the way, did you ever bother telling the girl? Does she know that we're monsters, both you and I? Free from the bonds of flesh, a pure consciousness has no true form. All that exists is the longing for reality. Did you see that, Mapesh? You're witness to his true nature right now. A consciousness desperately struggling to stay alive. Such a pitiful sight. This is unseemly, Ruby Do. You'll do something if I do this. <laughs> what pain! So sweet, so alive. Pain is such a vital part of realizing one's existence. Try to remember, Ruby Do, what it takes, what you must do. Or have you lived in peace for so long that you've completely forgotten? I don't think so. I'll just take what I want and proceed with my plans. And along the way, I'll make you remember who you really are. Contaminated? Not quite. More like evolved. I experienced but a fragment of my true power that day. The waves that inundated my body are now a part of me. I've reached a higher stage of existence compared to you incomplete mortals. I am the Alpha and the Omega of perfect consciousness. <laughs> mm. oh, this is nice. Don't you want to give it a try? Ruby Doe, you still don't remember? Or could it be... Fear? You're frightened, is that it? Am I right? I can't blame you. The only thing that matters to you is yourself. Ruby Del, so cruel. And yet this girl clings to you so dearly. Isn't it pitiful? One more layer. Just one more layer, and then I'll have everything inside of her. I'm sure you know what that means, Ruby Do. Now then, I wonder how much more she can take. <laughs>